Morning, everyone. It's Thursday of the 19th week. Let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You know, sometimes when the scriptures are read about forgiveness, it just seems like it's not possible, and yet it is. So as we begin, let's reflect on what Jesus told us about forgiveness. For the times we were for too bitter to forgive, we ask God's forgiveness, and so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Let us pray. Well, God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep from us all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Joshua. The Lord said to Joshua, Today I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know I am with you as I was with Moses. Now command the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant to come to a halt in the Jordan when you reach the edge of the waters. So Joshua said to the children of Israel, Come here and listen to the words of the Lord your God. This is how you will know that there is a living God in your midst, who at your approach will dis dispossess the Canaanites. The Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of the whole earth will precede you into Jordan. When the soles of the feet of the priests carrying the Ark of the Lord, the Lord of the whole earth, earth, touch the water of the Jordan, it will cease to flow, for the water flowing down from upstream will halt in a solid bank. The people struck their tents to cross the Jordan with the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant ahead of them. No sooner had these priests, bearers of the ark, waded into the waters at the edge of the Jordan, which overflows all its banks during the entire season of the harvest, than the waters flowing from upstream halted, backing up in a solid mass for a very great distance indeed from Adam, a city in the direction of Zerthan, while those flowing downstream toward the salt sea of the Arabah disappeared entirely. Thus the people crossed over opposite Jericho, while all Israel crossed over on dry ground, the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord remained motionless on dry ground in the bed of the Jordan until the whole nation had completed the passage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. When Israel came forth from Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of alien tongue, Judah became his sanctuary, Israel his domain. Alleluia. Alleluia. The sea beheld and fled, Jordan turned back, the mountains skip like rams, the hills like the lambs of the flock. Alleluia. Why is it, O sea, that you flee, O Jordan, that you turn back, you mountains that you skip like rams, you hills like the lambs of the flock? Alleluia. Friends, may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us be attentive to this reading of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but 77 times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who set an account with his servants. He began, when he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of his debt. At that, the servant fell down in homage and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When the servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants, bought him a much smaller amount. He seized him, started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had a fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now, when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you unless each of you forgives his brother from his heart. When Jesus finished these words, he left Galilee and went to the district of Judea across the Jordan. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. A little background first. Um, when Peter says seven times, seven is a perfect number in the Bible. At the time in Jewish thought, you could only forgive 
three times. So Peter, thinking as a Jew, uh, only being allowed to forgive three times, kind of jacks it up to a perfect number seven. And when Jesus says, that's not enough, 70 times, seven times, in other words, forgiveness is without limitation. That's what Jesus is saying today. Forgiveness is without limitation. There's a book called Is Life a Game by Sherry Carter Scoot, and she said, there are rules and there are four kinds of forgiveness. Let me share them with you. First of all, forgiveness for yourself. That we must be compassionate to ourselves for doing the best under the circumstances we have at that time. Make amends, then release the situation. The second rule, forgiveness of others. When we forgive someone for a moderate transgression, by identifying with the person's motivation so we can realize why the person did what he or she did, we're to show compassion and then release it. The third rule, she says, advanced forgiveness of yourself. This is meant for serious transgressions where we did something that violates our own values and ethics. By seeking to understand why we did it, make amends, and find it in our hearts to absolve it. And fourth, advance forgiveness of others. When we have been wronged or hurt by others to such an extent that forgiveness seems impossible. You know, there's what Jesus said is one just wasn't just a nice idea. He's telling us that's what we have to do that may cause some angst, some stress, whatever it might be, but it is what he's commanded us to do. And if we do that, it not only frees the person that did it or absolves the person, as I say here, it absolves us, and therefore it's a win-win. Not that it's easy, not that it's simple. Life isn't easy, it isn't simple but Jesus shows us the way. God bless. For those people who are unwilling to forgive, even if that's ourselves, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We may truly accept the forgiveness and the love of God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For children, they may learn by our example, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. The church, the church may always be a place of welcome, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask all of this and so much more through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we eat this bread to give you, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we eat this wine to give you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the, May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of God's holy church. Heavenly Father, may we always be present to each other. May we always accept the responsibility of sharing the gifts you have given us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your heart. We, we lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right and just. just. Father, although the human race is divided by dissension and discord, yet we know that by testing us you change our hearts to prepare them for reconciliation. Even more by your spirit you move our human hearts that enemies may speak to each other again, adversaries join hands, and people seek to meet together. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. 
Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, bread and, and drink, drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim, proclaim your death, death the Lord, Lord until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember Olga and Bill Orszewski and Jerome Foy, whom you called from this world to yourself. Grant that they were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not in our sin, but on the faith of the church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And, and with your spirit. Offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sin, sin of the world, world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world, blessed all those called, to the supper of the Lamb. O oh Lord, Lord, I am I not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. healed. Nourished by your saving gifts, we pray, O oh Lord, that by this same sacrament by which you feed us in this present age may make us partakers of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May God's blessing truly guide us in all that we do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone.